because I'm going to show you right now. I'm not in the entertainment industry. I'm not doing art, right? I'm not doing music. But I know someone in my nonprofit is actually a social media manager, right? So think about that, right? Somebody in the field that you're in is a social media running your social media, or probably even you, you're running a social media, right? So how can you use some of these technologies that you were just presented to for you to really pump up your social media or have somebody in your department to come in here and learn about how to use AI in some of these free uh, softwares or join some of these classes or an apprentice program, right? Um, now, as I mentioned, I run a nonprofit here. So I have a lot of responsibilities here, right? So since I'm not doing none of the media stuff, what is it that I can use AI for? One of the things that I have to worry about is about project management. I got to know exactly what program as a nonprofit I am running. If I am running a cohort, right, a cohort to teach entrepreneurship, think about all the materials, the lecture, the videos, everything that I have to be able to present to all the participants. Now, what allows me to give, what gives me the edge and my team is that now we can use ChatGPT to help us really dig down and come out with like surveys, to come out with, um, what's it called, to help us plan our program, right? So all that's doing it's not that it's doing it for me, that I wanted to do it for me, not, not whatsoever. What it's helping me out is to speed up my process on how to pump up the material. Once I got a certain material, I know it got me 60% there. It might have given me the whole 100%, but when I look at it, it's not really doing so much of what I wanted to say. I have to actually put my vision, my team's vision, right, into what is it that I'm trying to communicate. So if it got me at 60%, now I can start chopping that thing off and say, okay, I don't want you to say this. I want you to introduce it this way. And now I'm starting to stack up a lot of the information. So think about how I use it. Now, we have plenty of projects going on, and I have to be able to delegate a lot of the work. So when it comes down to delegation, now we're talking about softwares that we have to use. Who knows about Trello? Right? Who knows about um, other uh, CRM systems, right? They're CRM systems because we have to collect data, like the data that you guys with the scan, that's data we gotta collect. I gotta make sure that when I'm working with a participant, that I'm actually writing down, what did I help you on in? Where are you in your, in your journey in the cohort? Did you already do your market research? Did you already do your financials? Who's in charge of this? So if you think about that, it cannot be all here in your head. You got to make sure that you're using this type of software. Yes. Good question. What is CRM? Right. That is, you got me there. That customer is uh, relationship management. customer yeah. relationship management. Yes, thank you. Um, so if you think about that, that software is that you need to be able to use. If you're doing HR, I'm pretty sure you're using somewhere a uh, um, CRM system, right? So now as we're developing, developing CRM systems, right, now, what I'm doing is I'm using this software here that it's a project management system. I used to go in there and punch in a lot of the information in there, try to connect who's in charge, invite people. But now with this software, what I get to do is I get to map out the vision of where I'm going. Now to map out, think about how much you have to think into what, did you, what are you gonna put in there as you're mapping out? Now this allows me to go, oh, guess what? I need to map this thing out and transfer this into a project. Now I have AI in there that helps me speed up my process and tell it, this is what I need help on. This is what I need to build out, or this is the task that I need to do. Generate me, blah, 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 whatsoever. And out of nowhere, it creates a task list for me, right? And that's information that I had to do manually the majority of the times. And then we start automating things like that. So this is like a perfect example if, how do you use it in the workplace, right? So for those of you that have projects that are delegators, that are CEOs or starting your own business, this is tool that gives you the edge on that. How much is task data? This is free. Oh, okay. 
But as you go higher as a team, there's a there's another cost to it. But this is perfect just for you to learn. So one thing that I've really learned throughout my journey is that you know the question when I hear when I see the brain, when I see all this uh, building blocks and like man, I look at that and it sometimes I, when I look back, I'm like I don't even want to even touch it. Just because to me it becomes a little bit intimidating. Why? Because I'm I'm not a coder. I'm not a coder. Does that mean I have to go back and become a coder and learn all of this to get to this level? Man, I'm working full time. I don't even have the time, and I don't, I'm not a coder. I'm not. It's just not me, right? I'm an artist, right? I work. I work with people, so it can easily be something that discourages someone to actually do something, right? So. But what I see that's really important is that we have to be able, whatever it is that we're specializing in, if we're in HR, this is a software that if you learn this software and you learn how to use the AI, that actually puts you in an advantage in the workforce. You heard Alex talking about the workforce, how much in one year, how much are they gonna be cutting off? But you don't get cut off when you're able to introduce a new software and learn how to use AI on the software. If you're doing anywhere in the culinary arts, right? We're talking about, oh, I have how many employees? Okay, I need to do payroll. Well, think about what AI payrolls or what payroll company is actually implementing AI in there that can help you with your process. Now, when you know that, who your boss, whoever is your partner, or if you're the owner, think about how much money you're going to be saving in the long run. Think about how more productive you're going to be. So think about AI as you're learning, what softwares can I master, right? What softwares can I master and use AI to put you ahead of the competition, right? And as a business owner, as starting your business, as management, as an employee. So that's one, that's one thing. Now we can go to the next one. And this happens. Yeah, it's too good to be right. So this is another software. Now we're talking about when you're in the workforce, depending on your position, and I think in any position, you have to think about, as a business owner, systems and processes. Okay, whenever you're in charge of someone, you have to have a system, you have to have a process. Whether you're doing art, think about if you're doing art or you're doing music, there's a system and a process that flows for you to execute that project that you're doing. And a lot of the time, it's you, where am I at in that process, right? It cannot all, all be in your head because whatever it is that you're working on right now, but then I have an eight hour job, but then I gotta come back and I gotta do other things. It, it, you start losing that where you're at, where did I start off? So as a business owner, being able to use a project management software that allows me to do systems and processes to my business, it's critical. Now, building systems and processes, and imagine now AI is going to help you to, to take out the information you need if you're going to hire somebody, right? All right, where do I get this document? How do I start off this document? What is it to hire? What information do I need? Now you can just ask AI to do that for you. Give you a template of, again, it's only going to take you to 60%. Sometimes it's amazing if it takes you to 80%. But that's when you start asking questions and you start mixing, matching, taking things, and implementing your information. This is the type of software that you have to start mastering in the industry that you're in. Is that making, is, is, that, is that becoming more clear and more kind of opening up into how to be able to use AI for your business as an employee, as a manager, as a leader? Is it, is it making it a lot more clear? Perfect. Um, now, I'm gonna give you another example because we hear ChatGBT, ChatGBT. How do I use ChatGPT? Number one, AI has helped me in two key areas. All right, number one area, I'm dyslexic. I'm not the greatest writer. So AI just put me at a different playing field. Just put me completely at a different playing field on the way I write, the way I introduce it. I'm not, I'm not gonna be 100% perfect, but I know whoever I'm working with, now I'm able to be more clear, be more concise, be more creative on my writing, right? When I'm building systems or process of trying to do a program or working on a grant. A lot of time is that brain fog. Everybody knows what brain fog is. Like, damn, if I'm going to school, it's kind of like, how do I start this paper? 
oh man, how, where do I do? Or I'm doing research, I'm writing all of this. A lot of that information, you do some prompts there. You start grabbing that information and it starts to generate information for you. It's not for you to grab that information and copy and I get my paper because that's can't be doing that. But it allows the brain to start spinning and be like, all right, I can I can work with this, I can read this, it makes more sense. Now you take that and now you're like ahead of the curve.